will start from general uh, presentation or for actually general view of calculations and uh, we will create kind of uh, general scheme of calculations and uh, actually uh, will place uh, all equations here and you will see how these equations uh, can be used. So first of all, let's start from uh, the simplest uh, one. Uh, it is a volume, a volume of uh, distribution. And uh, you know that uh, we can calculate this uh, volume of uh, distribution using equation volume of distribution equal to the dose over uh, plasma concentration. What is important we should uh, know from this equation? That from this equation, we can calculate, second, uh, it is a loading dose, loading dose, and uh, loading dose actually will be uh, dose equal to uh, volume of distribution multiplied on a plasma concentration and uh, the same equation uh, you will use to calculate ingested dose. So these three types of questions uh, might be present and the uh, question may ask you, what is the volume of distribution for this drug or which loading dose you should use to load this volume of a distribution or which dose was ingested by you know, this individual or by the patient before. And for volume of distribution, we can use this equation actually for loading dose. And for ingesting dose, we will use the same, uh, the same equation. Third moment yeah, that we can extract from this uh, equation, we can calculate plasma concentration. And uh, in this situation, plasma concentration will be uh, will be dose over a volume of distribution. So these three types of questions uh, you may have. After that, you might be asked to calculate uh, half-life. And we, of course, operating with the term half-life when we are talking about first order elimination. And uh, this type of questions may ask, may ask you how long it will take, yeah? how long it will take to eliminate uh, this uh, drug or how long it will take to reach, let's say, 50% uh, of steady state concentration, how long it will take to reach 50, uh, how long it will take to reach 75% of concentration. And uh, you know that we are using equation uh, half-life for half-life at 0 0.7, uh, volume of distribution over mm, clearance. And uh, here we should keep in mind as minimum five half-lives. Now let's make a table, one, two, three, four, five half-lives. And uh, let's uh, say about percent of drug eliminated and the percent that uh, present in the organism. And here we have half-lives. So after first half-life, we have eliminated 50% and 50% present, right? After second half-life, we have elimination of 75% plus half of previous one, right? And that means that we still have 25% of medication. After three half-life, we are adding half of previous one, half of 25, sorry. Half of 25, and uh, this will be 87.5%, and uh, the remaining portion will be 12.5%. After four half-life, 93.625, Yes, we would like to be precise. And the um, remaining portion will be 6.375%. And here we 
can make an assumption that it is around 95 percent you know, of the medication and after five half-life we have 96.75 uh, percent and the 3.25 percent remaining what does it mean it means that uh, we are able to reach steady state um, steady state concentration after four or five half-lives right so reach steady state concentration after four or five half-lives and we are assuming that we are reaching 95% of steady state concentration. And actually, we can assume that it is a 100%. But if we would like to be precise, and sometimes in the questions you may find that, the question may ask you, what is the steady state concentration after five half-lives? Or what is the steady state concentration after seven half-lives? That means that question is asking you, the question is asking about actual steady state concentration and uh, asking about 100% of um, this steady state concentration. So this is another, another type of uh, questions that uh, we can uh, meet. The fifth type of question will ask you to calculate um, steady state. Steady state concentration. Uh, the first idea that steady state concentration, that is a K0 yeah, or a rate of infusion divided on clearance. Or another equation that we can use is a steady state concentration. It is a maintenance dose over uh, tau dosing interval and over clearance. And uh, from this equation, actually, we can modify it and uh, we receive steady state concentration as a maintenance dose divided on dosing interval and multiplied on, on the clearance, on the clearance. How to find, so we actually will uh, use these um, types of equation. The first one will be useful for continuous infusion, IV infusion, when we will have rate of infusion and uh, this second equation uh, will be used for uh, discrete doses when we actually will meet that. Uh, what is the dosage regime? Yeah, one tablet three times daily, two times daily, etc., etc., etc. So here we have dosing interval, and this dosing interval actually will uh, will be important. The sixth type of questions will ask you to calculate clearance. Clearance. And you know that clearance, it is amount of blood plasma cleared during a certain period of time. And uh, clearance actually can be calculated uh, by using a few equations. Uh, the first one, we have uh, equation from uh, physiology, where clearance uh, defined as a urine concentration of the substance multiplied on volume of the urine and divided on the plasma concentration of uh, the substance. But let's have a look on equations that we uh, have already. And the first equation that uh, actually we have, it is a half-life. So we have, we can calculate clearance uh, from the half-life. And from the half-life, clearance will be 0 0.7 multiplied on volume of distribution divided on the half-life. Right, you just interchange in the denominator if you would like uh, to find it. And have a look on uh, steady state concentration equation. So from steady state concentration, we can calculate clearance as a rate of infusion divided on steady state concentration, or we can calculate clearance clearance as a maintenance dose divided on uh, tau multiplied on steady state concentration. So here we have equations for clearance. Another type of questions will be focused on uh, calculation of maintenance dose. Maintenance dose or dose regime. And uh, we already know this maintenance dose right from a steady state concentration actually we should use equation uh, two for uh, maintenance dose and from this equation 
maintenance dose will be a steady state concentration multiplied on dosing interval and multiplied on clearance. And as we are using this maintenance dose as a discrete doses, let's say like a tablets, capsules, uh, we should think about bioavailability and all this equation should be divided on bioavailability. For each dose, we should make adjustment uh, adjustment for bioavailability. If you have IV infusion, then you should <clears throat> you should think about uh, bioavailability equal to one, yeah, or one hundred percent. But if a question will ask you about tablets, most likely you will have um, this uh, bioavailability. Clearance, clearance. It is amount uh, or volume of plasma. Uh, clear it from, uh, let's say, uh, drug X or from substance X. And uh, this UX, it is a concentration of substance in urine. Volume, it is a volume of urine. Volume of urine. And uh, CP, it is a plasma. Uh, concentration of uh, substance uh, X. Let's say we have urine passage one liter per hour and the concentration of substance in the urine will be one milligram per milliliter and plasma concentration of this substance will be 10 yeah, milligrams per milliliter. So what is the clearance? The question will be, will ask you like that. So let's come back to the maintenance dose. First, for discrete doses, we are using this equation yeah, because we have tau, we have dosing interval. And for rate of infusion, K0, we should use equation that related to the steady state. And for rate of infusion, it will be a steady state multiplied on, uh, on clearance. Yeah, multiplied on clearance. So these uh, types of question we, uh, may ask you about maintenance dose or uh, may ask you about modification, modification of infusion protocol. And uh, here uh, I would like to combine yeah, all these things with the loading dose with modification of infusion protocol because we may deal with the accumulation factor. Uh, accumulation factor. What is the accumulation factor? Accumulation factor can be calculated as a one over amount of medication lost in one uh, dosing interval. Uh, one dosing interval. And uh, most likely in questions, you will have a dosing interval equal to the half-life. And in this situation, loading dose will be doubled maintenance dose. So it is a general, uh, let's say, blueprint of uh, equations you uh, should use for calculations and uh, general, let's say, scheme yeah, for um, calculations. So once again, the basic equation first it is the volume of distribution after that second one it is a half-life after that steady state concentration for continuous infusion and the steady state concentration for discrete doses clearance and all other equations that we have they just coming from these equations that we uh, described uh, just now. 